So this is a screencast describing the Euclidean algorithm um, visually. So say I want to find out the 8 and 12 greatest common factor. So I start by drawing an 8 by 12 grid. So I have 12 squares going down, as you can see, and 8 squares going across. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Um, I also put some squares here just to make it easier for me to drag and drop, but the grid is where you want to start. So the first thing I do is I take a square and I draw the largest square and remember that a square has equal sides and that's the important part. So I draw the largest square that I can in my grid and the largest square that I can draw is that would be a 1x1, 2x2, 3x3, 4x4, 5x5, 6x6, 7x7. The largest square that I can draw is an 8x8. So it has equal numbers of, of little grid boxes on each side, an 8 by 8 square. So I'm done with that. And then I look at what I have left. And then I think, is there another square that I can draw that will fit in the grid? And in fact, there is. Because I have four squares left, so I can also draw a 4 by 4. So I'm going to um, shrink my little square down here to show you that I can fit a 4 by 4 square and see 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Well, as it happens, I can also fit another 4 by 4 square grid in evenly. See, um, I'll just show you like this 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. So the greatest common factor of 8 and 12 is 4 because that's the largest square or rather the smallest square that will evenly fit in the grid. So look at this example. This example is 3 and 10. So I want to find out what the greatest common factor is of 3 and 10. So I draw a 3 by 10 grid. See, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. What's the largest box, the largest square shape that has an even number of boxes on each side I can fit? Well, it's a 3x3, three three because obviously I don't have more than 3 on, on one side, so my square can't be any bigger than 3 on a side. So there's my first 3x3 three three square that I can fit in my array. Here's my second 3x3 three three square that I can fit, and here is a third 3x3 three three square. And that kind of makes sense, because 3 times 3 is 9, but there's one left over, one row left over. Can I fit a square in there? Well, yes, I can, but the only size square that I can fit is a one by one, right? It's just this little guy. There's no other square. I can't make a two by two or a three by three. All I have is this little one by one and those fit evenly, right? I can fit an even number of those in. That means that 1 is the greatest common factor of 3 and 10. I hope this clears the, the under, misunderstanding up a little bit. I know it's hard to get, but you should try a few grids yourself and play with them. Thanks. Have a good week.